Hello everyone! Now some of you may notice something is missing. And that is the entire house. Yes, I actually packed up everything and put it in these boxes. Because I wanted to start working on a tier 2 house, but also wanted to change what it looked like. Not only that, I think I want to move. So I was looking somewhat down here, and I think around here, where this date palm is, is going to be the perfect location. It's not too big, it's not too small. But what I'm really after are the date trees. Because we can put a juice collector on these. And I will create juice, obviously. Now the nice thing about juice is that it restores 6 food as well as 7 water. While regular water only restores 6 water. So juice is better not only for the water, but it also gives you food, which is really nice. And if we can just have a steady supply, that'd be pretty good. Now even though the Spanish Schooner can hold quite a lot of storage, we still have to make a couple trips. Now of course, thinking about it, we should make sure we have everything to build boxes on the other side. Because otherwise, we can't even store it there. Now luckily, when we dismantle these, we actually get all the planks back. Alright, now that we're fully loaded up and we have a lot of planks on us, let's go check out the new area, load everything off, and start working on the foundation. Now this might not look that grand, but I think we can make something pretty cool around here. Alright, let's quickly put a couple of these down. And now the fun question becomes, where do we want this to start? Because I think I'm going to have it slightly over the water, right here. And now we can start building a dock from there. So this will kind of also be a balcony. And this part here, I think, will have a staircase to go down. Meaning the house actually starts on this part. And here we come into the very first issue, I suppose, already. We didn't build it high enough. So we are going to have to build it a bit higher. So I might keep the part at the water, and then we just build a staircase to go down. I think that might be a cool idea. Now let's see, does that want to snap on is the question. Of course the answer is going to be no. Alright, well my idea here won't really work the way I wanted it to, so we're going to have to change that up. But I think I have an idea on how to do that as well. Alright, let's just start a bit higher here. Alright, my next plan here is now we can go down here, right? Let's already go all the way down there. That's so unfortunate. Because <laughs> I can't place them like all the way down here. Why are these things so fucking huge? I like need it to be that level right there. That would be the ideal part. So I guess that means we have to work backwards. But look at how flipping huge that is though. Yikes, the foundations don't even go that high. Well in that case, we'll worry about that area later, I suppose. Alright, just like that, we have the foundation down. Now this is gonna go out a bit farther still, because this is rather shallow, and that chip needs some deeper water. So with that, let's see, let's start working on some doors here. Then I think I want one in the back here as well. And this requires a staircase, if we can still put that on. Yep, yep, there we go. Then let's slap in a couple of windows. And then we can wall up the rest for now. Are both sides the same? Alright, both sides seem to be the same, so we'll make life a lot easier. Alright, with that, the first floor should be done. You know, good thing is, there doesn't seem to be a max weight stack that you can have. Because currently we're over 500 kilograms. Kind of crazy. Alright, that is the entire first floor done. Scary thing is though, we only have 11 improved builder kits. And we got only a couple extra builder kits stored away in here. So we got 16 regular ones. I didn't think this house was that much bigger, but apparently it is. And let's see, I probably want to have the staircase right here. And then there's probably going to be some walls in between here to make actual rooms. Because I think that would be good. For now though, let's see how far we can get with the resources we got. Which, well, let me tell you, isn't actually that far. We're like halfway done with the floor on this layer. What I'm gonna do is I guess I have to go back to the Puma region. Go and collect up. Probably some of these oranges. Seems like a pretty good call. Actually, there's two ironwood trees here. That is fantastic. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna be doing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh wow, we're almost at day 200 now. You know, I kind of forgot how long it actually takes to build a house in this game. But we got quite a lot of improved builder kits as well as regular builder kits. Now, I kind of doubt this is going to be enough. I will admit that. So I'll add it onto the house a little bit. So I'll add it in the second floor. As well as this balcony here. They gave us new blueprints. Oh, cool. We can make actual improved pillars. Oh, that's pretty neat. You know, I might like that more, actually. Yeah, I think that works. Alright, so let me show you exactly what I did. So I built up a half wall here. So this is just a nice railing. And if they ever add something like a lawn chair, we could place it out here. I am thinking of replacing the docks. 
because if we look at this, the dock style itself looks a lot more similar to the old tier one building foundations. So having these planks actually doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Wait, there's actual special foundation pieces for the docks themselves? That is kind of crazy. They're also a bit taller though, but I guess that's fine. So this is what I've been working on. We got a little bit of an outside area here. Nice little balcony to look over the land and over the water at our great Spanish schooner. I have a ladder in here, but this mainly just goes up to what's going to be the attic. And we also need a, uh, you know, easy access to build the roof. Then, of course, we got some banisters around the stairs. And, of course, we got the balcony in the back here. Alright, those are all the walls in right now. And we can start on the ceiling. Alright, these are the last 16 pieces of improved builder kit I have. I do still have some ironwood left. But I literally chop down every other ironwood tree. So if this is not going to be enough, we're going to have problems for a little while. So now we have to figure out what the heck we're going to do with the roof here. Because I built it in such a weird way, this might actually be kind of difficult. Especially since we don't really have that many pieces. So why is this not being able to build? It says other module in the way. I'm going to assume it talks about the roof piece. Oh, what if I do it the other way around? I place the wall first, then I come amid the roof, and then it works, I guess? Well, hey, if it works, it works, right? Right, there we go. So that takes care of these awkward, weird corners we got here. And then I'm thinking of keeping this part flat. This, I think, I want to have one taller. And doing it one taller actually just completes that. All right. All right, let's see how this looks. I will admit this piece right here looks a bit odd. I wish what we had instead is either a like lighter slope or one that connects from both ends like in a v shape upside down v shape other than that i think it looks all right the texturing itself is a little plain but i don't think i can change that much so once this is all in place we can actually start figuring out how the heck to actually get up here because i don't want to have the ladder in the middle of the room of course and i injured myself in the process because i didn't see it was actually getting nighttime all right, I had to make a couple extra improved builder kits, but we at least have enough of those. But we did run out of regular builder kits. Luckily, I do have a bit of wood left. So now I'm wondering if just leaving this piece flat would have been better or not. I mean, it's not like we can really do anything up here anyway. What I think I'll do is if I move this piece over here. If the ladder can go here, that'd be fantastic. I mean, it can technically fit. The question is, can we actually go up it? Oh yeah, we can, sweet. I was worried if uh, this piece here would be in the way. My one gripe with the ladder, though, is it kind of goes through the floors. Unsuitable surface? Really? It's already too deep for that? All right, now the nice thing is, these things will just slap on. I think that should be fine. We might just have to back up out of our place here. At least we got a working dock, so we should stop getting soaked all the time. All right, let's start working on a couple walls then. A couple inner walls, that is. So I probably want one there, just to corner that section off. Then we need a couple here to corner that off. Will it corner this off as well? This up here, I might just keep open like this. Because due to the railing, I can really, like, nicely fit in a wall. Alright, so I think this is what we're going to have to work with. So this might just become a crafting area. I think I'll put the tannery down here, because it's just too big. Alright, let's put some of this stuff inside already. This thing, though, is going to go outside. And I'll probably do some of the outside work right here. Alright, I'm going to put this water distiller right next to the ocean. That just makes it really easy to fill that up. The campfire. Probably going to go here, and I have a little idea for that. Alright, now the boring part comes in. Where I have to move all these chests inside. Alright, this is all the hides and everything we got so far. So what I think I want to do eventually here is make a box for all the fresh hides, make a box for the dried and processed hides, as well as for the processed tendons. And then you see this one here, the jaguar hide, for example. I think as well, yeah, the jackal hide as well. These are actually decorative, so I'll probably want to have a separate box for that as well. All right, it took me a little while, but all the boxes have been moved to the inside. So this is our food storage. This is everything we need for wild well, food. All the potions are in here. The rotten food is in here as well. Some of the scorpions and stuff are in here because we use those for medical supplies. This box holds all the equipment we got. I decided to put the big branches in here, but we definitely need something specifically for long sticks because we 
use those quite a lot, and I would like to get a surplus of some of the other ones, just in case. All this is just random materials. These are the sticks and leaves. This is all our crafting stuff. All our plant stuff. Here I decided to put in some of the clay crafting materials, because we're probably going to use that in a second to build up some of the stuff we were missing. As well as the half logs and split logs. Then of course you've already seen the tannery. In here there's the rocks. Container for just clay, I guess, because that's heavy as hell. And then all the ores go in here. I would like to get one for raw ores, as well as one for specifically obsidian and stuff like that. But that's all we got so far. So we got all these trophies. I guess we may as well pick a wall and see where we can put them. Let's start out with the Grey Jackal. So this one is quite important, so I'm going to put it right there. When you turn around, it's going to be the first thing you see. Shark Trophy, not as important, but there aren't a whole lot of sharks in the game either. Then I think the Puma and the Jaguar can go together. Of course, with the Jackal and the White Jackal underneath that. Then we got Piggy and the Buffalo. Got the Buffalo with his little Piggy friend underneath. And then we got the Harpy, but there we go. This one actually looks really cool, I will admit that. The harpy looks sick. I think these are all the trophies that are in the game, currently. So in order to use this campfire during times like this, we can actually place a canopy over it. And of course then the rain stops, but I guess it doesn't truly really matter. But at least this way, you know, we can actually use this. There was actually another campfire. There we go, heart with pot. So we might actually try get this one. We should have enough fired pots for that. But let's first actually get some of the other fundamentals down again. There we go. We build up the loom. Which I'm pretty sure means the tannery part is done again. It seems to be. Nice. There we go. The improved... Well, I was going to say the improved pottery bench is back up. But it isn't. There we go. There's the improved pottery bench. So those are all the forge stuff. Over here I put down a dryer as well as some barrels to store extra water in. Or maybe extra juice, who knows. Alright, sweet. Forge area is back up and running. Then if we move back here, the skin dryer is ready. And there's the food dehydrator. And I can also put in the half locks for these barrels. We do not have the hollow log yet. We're just going to need way more actual logs for that, which is going to be the main issue here. Alright, there's also this moonshine stiller. Or this moonshine still. But I don't really use it often, so I might just dump it up here somewhere. So instead of having an illegal drug farm, I guess we can have a uh, moonshine farm. Well, actually, looking at this, maybe we won't have this. Instead, let's just upgrade this guy. There we go. It now has a water tank as well. Isn't there a research? Yeah, there was an alchemy bench as well. I kind of forgot about that, because I never really use it. Alright, I think we got everything back in order then, right? Yeah, besides that moonshine still, I think we build everything we had again. And I might just want to make this, but we don't have the big branches for that, so I'm going to have to go out and get that. We also don't have a bed, but the bedroom's going to be up here. And I think because this video has been dragging on for quite a while already, I'm going to do most of the interior decorating by myself over the next few, probably days or weeks. And then we'll probably be back with the next update, which potentially comes in a couple months if they're going to work as fast as they did with this update. That way I can just take my time, see what we got, get all the supplies we need. We have to wait a while anyway for some supplies to regrow. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.